Okay, my battery is gonna die, so we're gonna make this first clip quick. I finished House of Chains. We're coming out of Christmas, my kids' Christmas break, uh, which has been awesome. It's been some great quality time with my kids, but my house, not to brag, is a mess. So I've been cleaning it, and I switched to the audiobook, and um, I've been listening to the audiobook, or I did listen to the audiobook to finish this out while I was cleaning, and it was a really satisfying ending. Certain characters' arcs were incredible, other character arcs were horrible, and I'm desperately sad. Things came together really nicely. I'm still confused about a lot. We'll talk about it when I record the review. I need to type up some notes, try to get my mind in order a touch, uh, but then we will talk about it in spoilers. Um, but it was still probably my least favorite Malazan book of them all, but with that said, I'm very, I'm, I enjoyed myself overall. I have a lot of positives to say about it. There were a lot of really fantastic character things that happened, some very interesting lore things. I'm pleased, but I have questions. Um, I've also, since I finished House of Chains, I've started The Arm of the Sphinx, which is the sequel to Senlin Ascends. I just finished part one, and I don't really like it very much. Um, book one gave me a very clear direction that the series was going in. It established some characters, particularly one. It established a setting and themes, which haven't been disrupted, but this, it established a setting and it established expectations about where we were going. And book two, so far, which admittedly isn't extraordinarily far, um, is not following very many of the things that I expected from what book one set up. Battery died, but I have to leave in a minute so you get phone Murphy. Again, I don't, I'm not that far into it. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But my initial impressions are cool, I guess. We're going to get to know these characters. Like, I whined a lot in book one about how I wasn't attached to any character. So cool, we're getting to know the characters a little bit more. But the stuff that I did like about the book are woefully not here. So my initial impressions are that I don't hate it, but I'm definitely not vibing with it. So I hope that I, that I will have a better check in with you soon. Welcome to the vlog. Spoiler review for House of Chains has been filmed. That'll be up on Tuesday and Arm of the Sphinx completed. I've been listening to the audiobook for this as well. I switched the audiobook on this one as well. Um, just because with us leaving for vacation in the next few days, uh, I've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of packing, and audiobooks have been my companion. So I'm also getting through things a little bit faster than I normally would. Anyway, I'm pleased with how Arm of the Sphinx ended up going. Uh, part one, I was a little bit concerned that it wasn't, I wasn't going to want to continue the series, but it did get better. The characters were deepened a lot more. I feel like I know them a lot better. In book one, my complaint was just, <laughs> the biggest complaint was the characters, and I just didn't feel like there was anything to them. And now I feel like I know them, I understand them, and I appreciate them a lot. I appreciate the dynamics of the characters as well and their relationships to each other. Several scenes that I really appreciated showing how they really understand each other and relate to each other. So very happy on that front. While we're not doing what I thought we would be doing throughout the remainder of the series, we are still learning a lot about the world and the mechanics and how everything functions and why it's set up this way and the, ki the behind the curtain sort of stuff for this tower. We're still learning it just in a way that I didn't expect. So I'm satisfied from my, you know, in book one, the world, the tower was the most interesting thing. And while we're not doing what I thought we would be doing, I'm still getting more of that, which is what I wanted the most. So expectations were subverted, but I'm still enjoying myself quite a bit. I don't think, for me, da my dad said that each book, he said that books one, two, and three all exceed each other, and then book four drops off a touch, but still really good. That was his experience with the series. And right now I would put um, books one and two kind of on the same playing field 
as far as because of the ending of book two, uh, but for the first half of book two, I would have put book one above it. So I'm enjoying it. I'm hopeful for it to continue to do interesting things and we'll, we'll see where it goes. Oh hey, I'm back in the same spot as last time. Sorry that this vlog didn't have any b-roll. I had every intention to make the interludes this time as well, but we're leaving in just a couple of days for vacation and it didn't work out. Speaking of vacation, let's talk. This channel is going to go quiet <laughs> for, for the time that I'm gone. Um, I posted a schedule on my main channel kind of explaining it all, but I'll put it here too. This is the final vlog on this channel for the rest of January, and there will be a Malazan review on Tuesday. That'll be a spoiler-filled discussion, and then that, that'll be the last review as well. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of January off for this channel. I will continue to post. I've been doing a lot of pre-filming uh, so that I can continue to post while I'm gone on the main channel, but just to make it more realistic for me to be able to front load my work now and be able to take the family time while I'm gone. Um, that's just the way that it worked for me to do it. There will still be a reading vlog for the second half of this month. It'll just be posted on the main channel, just again for my own convenience, just to condense things in one spot so that it's easier for me to manage while on vacation. So that'll still happen. Look out for that there. There will be a couple books that'll fall through the gaps because this reading vlog is coming to an end and then the next reading vlog isn't going to start until I'm on vacation. So um, there will be a couple of gaps for travel time. So there will be a couple of books that don't actually fully make it into vlogs, but they will be in the wrap up that comes at the end of the month. So every book will still be discussed. This is just kind of a, a wonky month. And this next book that I'm going to talk about is one of those books that'll slightly fall through one of the, one of those gaps. It's called Grown and it's by Tiffany D. Jack. She wrote Monday's Not Coming, which was one of the best books that I read last year. And I've been looking forward to reading more of her stuff. Amber Elise, one of my friends here on YouTube, she said Grown is your next book, Murphy, for, by her, because Tiffany G. Jackson is Amber's favorite author. Um, so she knows. <laughs> so she was like, Grown is it. So I got it from the library. I'm reading it on ebook. I'm currently 32% in, and it's phenomenal. She has the perfect balance of meaningful prose that she's saying she can say something in such an impactful way without being overly indulgent and overly flowery. So she has a, it's very, very readable. I just, I'm sucked into her books immediately and I can't stop reading them. But then also the, the prose is so intentionally done. As a storyteller, she's so talented and she covers topics that are worth discussing. In this particular book, she's discussing a 17-year-old girl who wants to be a singer, who wants to um, get her voice out there in the world and loves music, and she meets a musician who is 28, 28? Yeah, 28, who takes an eye to her. So if you've read My Dark Vanessa, which is another book that I, I really have strongly recommended, it's that it's, it's a grooming topic matter. So, not a fun topic. Tiffany D. Jackson doesn't write fun books, she writes impactful books. But you know, you have this girl who we we can feel the romance that's happening. Like, we can feel the attraction and we can feel the infatuation and the excitement and feeling so special and so like chosen by somebody who's way, you know, above her as far as like, He's very popular. He's he's an accomplished singer, and so that he would take notice of her. Oh my goodness! Like, we feel it as the 17-year-old how she how she would feel, but we also see the manipulation and the controlling moments. We see her rationale. We see her emotions. We see her home, like what's going on that kind of factors into, you know, she's, she's responsible for taking care of the littles, her siblings, so she's already treated more as an adult than she probably needs to be, and she's constantly being told how mature she is, and like, you know, all the things. So there's a lot of, it's just done so well where like you clearly understand how our protagonist can be swept up in this, but it's also very clearly showing us all the signs and all the, all the manipulation that's going on. It's just, <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> it's not, it's obviously not a light topic matter and I'm, they haven't hit the hardest parts 
of what's to come, but uh, it's a topic matter that I think is really, 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 really important to discuss. And um, Tiffany G. Jackson, Tiffany D. Jackson, in her hands, you know, I just expect it to be really good. So um, this book, the second half of the book, or the second two-thirds of the book, uh, will be covered in the wrap-up because it won't be in the vacation reading vlog. Manga. I... Oh, I quit on the climber. I'm sorry, guys. I know a lot of you, it was a couple of you, really were excited to continue to see my thoughts on it because rock climbing is something that I care about a lot and uh, it's a rock climbing series and there's some good stuff about it and I do understand why people like it it is visually gorgeous and if you're connected to climbing he writes that connection to climbing very well there's a lot of stuff in there that I just don't appreciate it's it's like you got to sift through the bad to get to the good and I'm tired of sifting I just don't like it. If you're curious, if you're a fan of the series and you're curious, I quit at chapter 65. I know that people love the series and I, I, you know, love it. I want you to love it. I want you to love what you read, but I was not enjoying myself anymore. So I quit and I'm done. Um, Yona, I'm still reading. I've read two volumes of it and I, so it was volumes five and six. Five, another banger. Loved it. Uh, loving to get to know these new crew, these new cast members. Um, and then six, I felt less awesome about. There's a couple of things that I don't love in the series and six kind of leaned on those things a little bit more. Plus the, the pacing in six, it really felt like hurry up and get all the chess pieces, get all the pieces in play so that we can get to the good stuff, which again, pacing, like I just like a slow burn more than Yoda has been up to this point, but it has slowed down some, especially volumes four and five were, oh, they were excellent. So I'm not deterred by the fact that six was a little bit weaker for me, but you know, if you're curious about updates on that. We're assembling our cast, we're getting together our crew, we're about to um, go stop a baddie, pirate style. So I'm obviously into what's going on right now. I'm having a really lovely time. I was nervous. The first three volumes, I was not thinking that it was going to be the series for me, but I'm, I'm into it. So yeah. I'm excited to keep reading more of that. Um, sorry about the climber. I know that'll bump some of you, but I still have uh, Vinland Saga. I believe book 13 is out now. I need to double check on that. So I still need to finish 12 and then read 13 for Vinland Saga and I'm taking Vagabond with me on vacation. So I'll be starting that the second half of this month too. So I still have a lot of really good manga that I'm excited to be reading. So. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited about Vagabond. And that's what I've been reading this week. I finished Malazan, which I had already read the majority of before this week. I read all of The Arm of the Sphinx and I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm still not like 100% gung-ho for the series, but I'm having a good time and will continue. And I started Grown. And I read more Yona. I hope you're loving what you're reading. I hope you're having a good first month of the year reading wise. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the main channel, which is always linked in the description of my videos. I will see you again soon. Bye.